Oh crap. So many choices. There's no in new information. There's an easy path and a hard path. Oh, we're doing the hard path. Underneath my face, there's a booster. Let me move. Uh, move it over here. Just covering up some of the easy path because I'm not going to do it. Just need to make it to this goal. All right, well, let's try it. Move right. And then we're boosted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go frame by frame here. Maybe not frame by frame. To figure out exactly how long I should wait. Because what I want to do, I want to get to a point, I want to jump, I want to hook almost right away, so it's a short distance hook. So I swing around, very close to this edge here, and then launch into this booster. I think, I, if I have to say, I don't even want to touch the ground, I just want to launch and go straight right. Or at least dodge this spike, if that's possible. So, this honestly might be a fine wait. I saw 9.05. 0.905. Then jump, and then I want to wait a little bit. So he jumps now, and right about, right about here maybe? Right about here, I think I want to hook down right. So 0 0.45, wait, 0 0.045, hook down right. And then again, I'm gonna wait, but I don't know how long. Wow, okay, the hook takes time. The took, hook takes time to reach the ground, so I have to... I have to take that into account, so I guess I have to adjust this manually. Well, that's a shame. Let me try hook down right, move left. I'm still hooking too late, by the way. Let me go 0.22. Because I don't want to hit the wall. Maybe I gotta wait before jumping shorter. Let's try 0.87. Yeah, th this is something I can't figure out by going frame by frame. I can only trial and error. Oh, that's so close! It might not be possible, because it seems if I hit either of the barriers, I'm probably going to stop my swing. Alright, fine, fine. I'll, let me change this strategy. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to move right, and then we're going we're gonna to just kind of hang out down here. So I'm going to wait, like... 1.5 or whatever and then wait until grounded the 1.5 is to just make sure that by the time this is up i will be guaranteed mid-air so then once i wait until grounded what i'll do is move left jump wait maybe just 0 0.1 if i had to guess hook left and then wait until boosted and then unhook and then maybe i'll have to tweak this as we go Okay, so that happens way too soon. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I'm on the downswing. Because it seems I'm gonna bonk my head off the ceiling and then fall. Maybe I could also use calibration for this, but oh well. 0 0.6 is too slow, so we'll go 0 0.5. Ooh, that was closer. We can go 0 0.45. Ooh, that's beautiful! That's exactly what I wanted. So wait until boosted, unhook, and then what I want to do is wait a certain amount of time and then start moving left. Let me go to here. Or sorry, start moving to right. So I think at this point, 1.06, I want to start moving to right. So wait, 1.06, move right. Wait until boosted hook right here's a question see these things with the hooks and the tiny blocks above them i would like to hope that we're supposed to grab onto those i think we are i think we're meant to grab onto those that's probably gonna be helpful i'm gonna wait 0.2 and then on on hook and see how close that gets me okay so i think i actually want to hook right before the booster so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna just guess right now. We'll go we'll go 0 0.4, but I'm gonna go frame by frame to actually verify how long I should. So we're starting to move right, and we're waiting for 0 0.4. Oh, that's way too long. I should be hooking like here. 0 0.14, hook right, wait, maybe even 0 0.1, and then unhook. Because I've got a lot of speed here. Okay, I'm unhooking too soon. We'll go 0.2 again. Look at this speed. Oh, that speed. 
By God, okay. <laughs> um, that's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit less to unhook. I'm gonna go 0 0.18 and see what angle that takes me at. That's a little better. What I almost want to do is fly around this thing, do a full loop, and then go launch myself down into this. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to wait, a, release a little bit sooner to try to get a better angle here. And then I'm going to figure out how long I should wait. So go bit by bit. What's the launching angle I want? This looks good. We could go to maybe here, 0 0.185, and then hook right. Wait, 0 0.185, hook right. And then if I had to guess, wait... 0 0.5 and then unhook. I want to see what this looks like. Do we even hit it is the question. No, we miss entirely. So I got to do this sooner. I'm going to try 0 0.16. Still too late. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. What if I go back to like, let's try 2, 2 and then I hook left. Because I want to do a loop around this thing. I want to conserve my speed if possible. Oh, wait, that was so good. That was so good. Just wait a little bit longer to unhook. Wait, like 0 0.7, wait, 0 0.8. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God, that's almost perfect. I'm releasing a little bit too late now. I'm going to go 0 0.75 unhook and then wait until boosted move left. Well, then I should just get there, yeah? I imagine so. We'll see. Well, <laughs> I lose a little bit of speed when I hit the ground. But again, we're above average on speed and in code length. So here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to see if I can maintain my speed going into the finish. So I'm going to move left. I'm going to hook left. And I'm going to wait. I'm going to say 0.2. And then unhook just to see how this goes. Ooh, I missed. 3.25, let me try. 0 0.325. And then I'm gonna change this to wait be like 0 0.5. I wanna go fast. And I could work out some of the kinks. Ooh, that speed though! I just need to release sooner now. Wait, 0 0.3. We maintain the speed. Oh, again, too soon. I get stuck on a ledge. Can you believe it? Let's go 0 0.15. Just half it again. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, can I release a little sooner just to try to avoid a donk? 0 0.14. I don't know if that's possible or what that'll do for me. Oh my god, 5.54. The fastest time is 1.6 sec seconds, which is insane. Let's do one more level to try to prove my expertise, at least somewhat. What do you have for me, intro bot? Another quick tip. The command say can make your bot spell out any text similar to what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's a very, a very important addition. Just make sure to keep it clean. Bye. As a bot named Dildlebike, I will be sure to keep it clean. You have my word. Looks like a good challenge. Um, well, I guess I'll go top down on these. So we gotta move right. Well, I gotta wait a bit. I'll wait to like uh, 0 0.2 and then jump. And I, I kind of want to wait until orb pick up and then move left. I might just wait until orb pick up again. The, the hope is that my first jump can just land me right into both of the orbs. Yeah, wait until orb pick up and then move right. I mean, that's a pretty simple one. And then I think I just need to fall off here. And then I'm, I'm going to wait a certain amount of time, but I don't know how long. Mm, I don't quite like that, actually. Oh, wait, I forgot I can move in midair. I can move in midair. I'm going to wait maybe 0 0.5, move left, wait... 0 0.2 and then move right and see if this puts me on track towards the orb. 
It does actually, believe it or not, because I will grapple. And let me see when I should grapple. We'll try a time maybe about here. 0 0.265. How about 0 0.275? I'll try. And then hook right. And then wait. I don't know how long I want to wait. Maybe 0 0.7 or something. And then unhook. And the idea is that I should just launch right into the the exit. So we'll see if I'm anywhere close. Well, I mean, yeah, I just need to unhook a little bit faster. Let me do that. Wait, maybe, I don't know, 0 0.4. I could time it out if I wanted to. Maybe I do. That was pretty good. 5.36 seconds. I got 36th place? That was not a hard challenge at all. I'm surprised I did so much better on this one than the other ones. Okay, I'm having a really good time with this. Yeah, I'm addicted to getting a good place on these leaderboards. I'm just going to keep playing. You know, this might become multiple episodes. I don't know how it's going to break up. This is fun. What do you have to say to me, IntroBot? Don't mind me just watching you. Ah, is that where you get off, huh? You sick freak. There's nothing under my face cam. There's a, there's a void with the, you know, the booster above my head. Maybe could do something, but I have a hard time seeing how. Let me see something. I want to go... I want to move right and then and then jump. I just want to see if I can go off screen. You can go off screen. Oh, ho, ho. wait a second. So you're telling me I, there, there's maybe a chance. Let me let me move right. I'm going to wait maybe one second and then see where that gets me. Because I want to try to hook onto this box from off screen. That's the goal. I bet I could do it. We're going to go wait 0 0.9. Hook down left and see if that's anywhere close. Well, it kept me alive. It's not what I wanted to do, but maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Because honestly, this is not a bad hook. Like, what if instead of trying to go just hook on this one and around to here, I hook around to here and then hook around again and do a full loop and launch out this way? That would be more fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook down left, move left, and then wait. I don't know how long, actually. Let me see when I'd want to. Let's go frame by frame here. I think right now, mm, maybe 0 0.430. Actually, no, I actually think 420 is a little better. Why? Because I want to unhook and then hook down right. Now, I might even have to wait for a shorter period of time. Oh, no, I have to wait for longer. Okay, never mind. Wait, 0 0.43. Okay, even longer, 0 0.45. Well, 0 0.46, unhooked, and I might have to wait mid-air before rehooking. I could wait 0 0.05 mid-air. Okay, 0 0.1. You know what? 0 0.2 mid-air. Okay, 0 0.17. Oh, that's so close. I want to wait just a smidge shorter so I don't bang my head off the ceiling and then I'm going to do a good timed release. Ooh, okay, that's too soon. You're at 1.69. Oh, but I hit here? No, okay, so I got to go 0 0.17 then. Like, it, it just barely bangs its head on the top. That is such a shame. So what I want to do then is... Maybe wait a touch longer. That might seem like it'll have the opposite effect. But I think what it's going to do is hook a little bit lower on the box so that I won't bang my head on the ceiling. That's the idea, at least. What I maybe want to do is wait a little bit less time before unhooking. Let me try 0 0.46. Uh, 6, 7 is not bad. I was going to do 6, 5. See how this lines up. Oh, look at that movement. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take it back a few. And now I just got time when to do this. <laughs> it's perfect. So we're going along the arc. And I want to release maybe right... I think right at the top of it. 0 0.35. And then unhook and see where that gets me. Wait. 0 0.35. Unhook. See what kind of launch that gets me. Wait, what? 
Hold on, let's go back. Where, where, what is this? No, 0 0.835. Okay. This should time it properly. Oh, it releases a little too soon. I want to launch it right into the orb. So I'm going to go 0 0.85. See how that does for me. It's so close. 0 0.8. Three, nine. Oh, I donk now. Okay, so I gotta go 0 0.84. That's the latest or earliest release I can have that doesn't hit this block. I almost wonder then if I want a grappling hook on this so I could hit the boost and then fling myself around into the goal. Let's see when I would have to time it. When do we think? I would think now. 0. Point, is that 845? Crazy how it's the same amount of time as the previous weight. Hook left. And then I'm just gonna guess here. I'm gonna 0. 0.84 if I if I had to guess. And then move right and then unhook and see where that gets me. Okay, that's too late on this hook. I will guess 0. 0.8. How about that? Ooh, okay, that looks pretty good. Now I need to wait way less before releasing here. I'll go 0 0.5. I guess I'll also run the timer, huh? So, frame by frame. I think I want to release... Oh, actually, this is pretty good timing. Whoa, that was pretty good. <laughs> I almost want to wait some time mid-air and then just move left. I don't know how long is in mid-air for, though. I can't go back, so I'll just wait 0 0.5 and move left, and we'll see if it gets close. This is a sick run if it works out. Okay, that's too soon. Maybe 0 0.8 was right. Woo! Nicked the corner right there. 4.8 seconds. 61st. So it was a little bit on the... Well, it was above average, I guess. But my code consisted of quite a few lines. Yeah, maybe going left is easier than I thought, but I wanted to go right. Um, let me maybe wait a little bit less before unhooking. Oh, no, I need to wait more. I had this backwards. 0 0.52. Like, if I can make it just over this block, I'm happy. Like that. Ooh. Now, here's what I could do. I could also wait a little bit less before moving left to try to clip the top of the portal. Four point six one. Moving up in the leaderboard. Top 50. What I could do, I could release a lot later, so I send myself down, and then hook off of this to launch myself in. That might be even better. So I want to wait about maybe a 0 0.6, and then wait to see, maybe wait like 0 0.3, and then hook right. And then if I had to guess, wait maybe another 0 0.3, and then unhook. And then I'll tweak it. That wasn't too bad, actually. That angle was pretty good. 0 0.22, possibly. 0 0.225. And then, wait, I'm going to change this to, like, 0 0.15. It needs to be way shorter. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> I clearly need to release even sooner. 0 0.1. Yeah, this is way faster, though. Okay, a little bit later. 0 0.12. Ooh, 4.425, 37th place on the leaderboard. Can I optimize any further? I think that's just a good point to save it. All right, on to the next level. This level is all about speed. That's how we've been doing things. 